Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Universe Mode, and we're on the last Raw before Survivor Series, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait, and also we have a big announcement to make that I will be making right now about going well in the first match. I'll do it then because we have the return of Kane and Jay Uso versus Dallas of Black, but we won't be going for that tonight. We'll see you later. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the matchup. Kane versus Sheamus. And out first, the demon, Kane. It looks like Cage resorted back to an old type of attire. His way to the ring, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 323 pounds, Cage. I've been waiting so long to bring Cage back into Universe Mode, and right now is the perfect time. <laughs> Whilst Cage return may be abrupt and quick he has a big purpose here that he will reveal next week but for right now he's back for one man and he's coming out now the Celtic warrior former world champion former Mr Money in the Bank in real life current US champion Former IC champion, former tag champion, Sheamus. Put these two together in this matchup tonight. Yeah, Kane warms up again in the ring, and we know that Sheamus is not a warm up, but he'll get Kane back to the peak levels he used to be at. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Sheamus is not a pushover either, so Kane will have to perform at his best tonight. And Kane isn't a pushover either, he might have been out for the last couple of years, but he is still the demon. And he will still kill and destroy. So let's get right into the matchup. So for this matchup, I've got as Kane on his return. And oh my god, the clobbering clothesline to start off with. Oh, bring it back. Oh, an uppercut. You can hear the crowd chanting, you look stupid to Sheamus. As Kane fires Sheamus into the corner. Oh, trying to go to work on Sheamus in the corner, but Sheamus with a kick. Going after the arm of Kane. Got it locked up, but Kane with multiple punches to the gut to get out of it. Oh, Kane trying to go for the nice little famous punch that he does. Throws Sheamus into ropes and drops him on his back with such aggression okay we're punch to Sheamus into the corner and again trying to go for Sheamus in the corner but cannot do it as Sheamus gets the reversal off oh Sheamus with the elbow and drops Kane on the floor oof Sheamus with the headbutt chucks Kane into the corner and oh my god with the clothesline Sheamus turns Kane over as he chucks him across the ring but Kane getting straight back up oh Kane ooh, with a reversal to Sheamus the punch and he throws him into the corner again oh and again Sheamus reverses she uh, Kane oh and drops him but Kane sits straight back up. And Sheamus throws Kane into the ropes. 
ducks under, tried to go for a clothesline there, but Kane gets out of the way. Oh, fake throw, and oh my god, dropping him on his back. Kane now in control of the matchup, and a, oh, an uppercut to Sheamus. Oh, Kane flying back with some punches here at Sheamus. Just the brutality of the punches. Oh, what a big boot by the demon. He picks up the Celtic Warrior now. Up against the ropes. And drops him dead on his back. Into a corner now. Kane not even able to break a sweat here tonight. Sheamus turns him round with a punch to the back. And another one. Getting Shane up to. Well, not Sheamus. Kane up to the top. Got, oh, the tree of woe. Oh my god. The knee of Sheamus into the stomach of the demon. Oh, Sheamus trying to go for his signature, but Kane with the reversal. And Kane with the. Sidewalk slam. Picks up the Celtic Warrior now. And into the corner. Kane with multiple punches to the face of Sheamus. Oh, picks Sheamus up, but Sheamus shrugs him off. And the bro kick missed by Sheamus. Well, Sheamus gets him up in the fire with Curry and it just rolls over. Picks up the demon. Goes behind him. Just wrenching the neck of the demon, Kane. But Kane able to get out of it with multiple punches. Oh, and one straight to the head. Into a corner. Oh, Sheamus blocks Kane with a punch to the back. <clears throat> and to the outside goes the demon. Sheamus following suit here. <clears throat> An uppercut by Sheamus. Oh, Kane throws Sheamus back into the ring. And Sheamus. Oh, Kane with a punch. And what's this? Kane with the tombstone pile driver. And Kane looking like he's going to call for it. He's got him in for the choke slam. The cover by Kane. One, two, three. Kane dispatches Sheamus within six minutes. Very good match between these two. But I'm still wondering why Kane has returned when he has. Oh no, Kane goes straight after Sheamus here. Oh, and slaps him dead in the face. Oh my god, just clobbers him with the right. Picks him up again. And a clothesline by the demon. Stomping down on the Celtic warrior. Oh. Just have a throw to Sheamus. And into the corner. Okay, chucking Sheamus now to the outside. Kane Chuck Sheamus into the barricade. Oh, and a punch, and again. And Sheamus is out unconscious as Kane making his return. It was actually a pretty good match for his first match back. 
But let's get right into the next matchup. Now the next matchup was made last week when Roman requested that Seth would fight the world champion Samoa Joe and you can see right now it is happening as the Monday Night Messiah making his way to the ring. Seth Rollins has some close ties with Roman, but Seth has already said he is not going to join the bloodline. As Seth still has his own path to follow. But it still doesn't mean Seth will help out Roman any way he can. And tonight. He's doing so by putting a notch in his belt with hopefully a defeat against Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's been on a roll as a play, obviously the world champion right now. Samoa Joe's made, made every man pass out to the Coquina clutch. And Samoa Joe's brutality is unmatched. Just ask Roman Reigns, ask Adam Cole, even ask this man Seth Rollins, who has faced Joe twice before in this universe mode and has been tapped out both times. But out comes the world champion, the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe Samoa Joe Samoa Joe defeated Roman Reigns in a fatal four way elimination match at TLC It was Samoa Joe Roman Reigns the last two and Roman Reigns felt the pain of the Coquina Clutch and Joe's relentless arms squeezing the breath out of Roman Reigns and he had to tap to Samoa Joe. And if I'm not wrong, that is the first time Roman Reigns has ever lost by submission. But let's get right into the matchup with Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe. I am Samoa Joe and we are underway. Oh, Seth Rollins ducks under Samoa Joe's grab or it's grapple. Oh, Samoa Joe hits back. Oh my god! The lower spine on the knee of Samoa Joe. Oh, Samoa Joe throws Seth Rollins off. But a big boot on the Monday Night Messiah. Throws him into the corner. Oof, Seth with a kick. Throwing Samoa Joe off the ropes. Ducks under. Oh, and a swinging net breaker. Oh, Joe gets out of the way of uh, Seth's kick from the snapmare position. And a German suplex to Seth. And it has only just begun, my dear Seth Rollins. Joe chucks Seth off again and going back after the back once again oh it's well Joe going after the face of Seth Rollins with multiple kicks to it and Seth with the jawbreaker and he chucks Joe off the ropes oh and a drop kick to the Samoa submission machine but Joe oh tweaking the leg of Seth Grabbing Seth by trying to go after his head, I presume. Oh, and a flyover DDT by Seth Rollins. And a knee to the, a jumping knee to the face. But slamming the arm of Samoa Joe. Seth Rollins. 
And then Fox Joe Joe in a snap bad position. And Seth again. Oh, it looks like Small Joe's going to get out of this. The victor. As he, boom, gets Seth. Oh, Small Joe rolling out of the ring here. What's Joe doing? I don't know if this is a tactic to anger Seth Rollins, but it seems like he's working at Seth, getting impatient. A small Joe with a back body drop to Seth. Oh, it's a mojo. Kick to the abdomen of Seth. Looks like he's game up for a power bomb. No, Joe. Don't. Don't, Joe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Small Joe power bombing Seth on the ring apron. And flinging him into the raw sign on the apron. That's got to be absolutely shocking to Seth's back right now. He's got to be writhing in pain. Oof! And the back body drop by Samoa Joe. You see Seth Rollins is in red body damage right now. Oh, Samoa, Samoa Joe reversed by Seth. And Samoa Joe yet again going to the outside of the ring. Seth chases after him, but Joe. Oh, misses with the boot, and Seth gets him again. Seth going for the comeback here. Oh, Seth going to get the sling blade to the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe. Oh, Seth trying to go for the super kick, but Joe reverses. Oh, and it's a gurry by the Monday Night Messiah. And a chop. Well, just slamming the arm down. Samoa Joe. Gets him up in the snapmare position now. And again, wrench on the head of Joe. Seth wrenching even harder. But Joe able to get out of it. And oh, the elbows to the stomach have got to be probably the worst thing for Seth right now and an elbow and an enziguri to the face of Seth freaking Rollins oh Seth throws Joe over the ropes and trying to punch Joe to the outside but it fails as Joe now trying to go for a punch to the stomach but Seth reverses with his own and Seth going in for the schoolboy super kick to Samoa Joe. Seth Rollins going for the cover. Kick out by Joe in for the count in before the count of one. Oh Samoa Seth Rollins going to the top rope. High risk maneuver and Joe gets out of the way and a clothesline to Seth Rollins. Oh Samoa Joe. On the side of the ring, going up to the top rope. Some old Joe showing Seth how it's done, and the oh my god! The sent on missed by Joe, but Joe reverses Seth Rollins' ripcord knee strike. He gets behind Seth Rollins here, and you're gonna get him in for the coquina clutch, but Seth uses his resiliency to break out of it. Oh, a kick to the back. Turns Joe over. And a stomp to the arm. Dragging Joe to the centre of the ring here for a cover. One kick out at one by Joe. He escapes. Seth going after Joe here. Seth Rollins turned round by Joe. Seth reverses the Coquina clutch. And a clothesline. Rick Cord clothesline by Seth Rollins. Oh, Seth going up to the top rope. 
Joe with a chop to Seth. What's Joe doing here? To the top rope. A double underhook suplex from the top rope. Oh my God. Considering how much Joe has been targeting Seth's back, that has got to be pain. One, two, kick out by Seth. Just before the count of three and a kick to the back. Oh, Joe, off the ropes with a senton to Seth Rollins. A small Joe going up to the top rope now. He's not, is he? Samoa Joe. Oh my god! The senton! Trying to go for the senton to Seth Rollins! And it fails! Oh! My god! Oh! Drop kick by Joe! Picks up Seth Rollins! Turn him around! For the co Keener Clutch! As it cinched in on Seth Rollins. But could Seth get out of it? Looking ever more likely. Small Joe trying all he can to keep the pressure on Seth. But Seth. Oh my god with the headbutt to the nose of Samoa Joe. And he gets out of it. And Seth. Oh my god to the knee of Joe. And Seth Rollins going up for a high risk manoeuvre on the top rope. It's calling for Samoa Joe to get to his feet. Oh, the crossbody caught by Joe. And a slam to Seth Rollins. Samoa Joe now looks like he's making his way to the top of the ropes. And a sent up by Joe again. But misses again. And Seth throwing Joe into the corner. Oh, and Joe with a reversal. Throws Seth to the ropes. Oh, and an elbow meets Seth's chest. Oh, grabbing Seth here. But Seth reverses Joe. And a knee to the face of Samoa Joe. Seth going high risk. Going for a moonsault, but Joe gets his knees up. But Seth reverses Joe's attempt at a grapple. But Seth dragging Samoa Joe to the ropes. Turns Joe around. And he's just using the rebound of the of the ropes to just dig at the back of his spine. A standing shooting star pressed by Seth Rollins. Seth with the schoolboy super kick to Samoa Joe. Dragging Joe to the centre of the ring here with the cover. One kick out at, by Joe at one. Oh, Seth calling for it. The ripcord knee strike to Joe. And the cover by Seth. One, two, three. Seth Rollins has finally overcome Samoa Joe. But Samoa Joe showing the respect to Seth Rollins. This is the first time Samoa Joe has lost since his world title win. And Joe is letting Seth Rollins bask in it. I wonder if this will lead to a world title match between these two at the December pay per view. But, ladies and gentlemen, besides that, it's time for the main event. We have all four members of the Raw Survivor Series team. Roman Reigns and Edge going up against the former tag champions and former teammates Cesaro and Shinsuke 
Nakamura up next. We are now here for the main event as Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, going to make his way down to the ring with his special counsel, Paul Heyman. Roman asked Seth to do a deep thing tonight and he did just that. Seth Rollins was able to do what Seth, what Roman Reigns couldn't do and that was defeat Samoa Joe. I think the December paper people on Smackdown so we'll probably do a pay-per-view kind of thing or actually I won't doubt you guys there will be no December pay-per-view because it's I don't like the stereotypical types like the ones that call Hell in a Cell or TLC stuff like that but I don't feel like they could be like kept to that one pay-per-view so I kind of got rid of those except for the Elimination Chamber that one is actually the only one I like but, ladies and gentlemen, out here, the Tribal Chief, two, well, actually, five-time world champion, the Tribal Chief. But, fun fact, never won money in the bank, but his cousin, Jay Uso, is Mr. Money in the Bank. Jey Uso won it off Dolph Ziggler at TLC. But, Reigns, by the time Jey Uso won it, Reigns was still champion, because I think that was like the first match of the night. But, less about Reigns and more about the ultimate opportunist, the rated R superstar, Edge. What can you not say about this man? That have already been said. 11 time world champion. 2 time Mr. Money in the Bank. Only winning one of them through the Money in the Bank ladder match. Hall of Famer. Former Royal Rumble winner in 2020. Former tag champion, former IC champion. Never won the US title, I believe. And tonight's tag team partner of the Tribal Chief. But out next is the Swiss Cyborg. The Superman of WWE. Cesaro! Former IC champion, former US champion, the inaugural Andre the Giant Battle Royal winner, has never won a major world title in WWE but if he wins the Survivor Series it could be his chance but you can never count out Cesaro in any circumstance never he's a team player he knows how to get the job done and that's all you need Razor and Edge just watching on at Cesaro. <clears throat> but let's bring out his tag team partner. The King of Strong Style, the artist. Shinsuke Nakamura
Shinsuke Nakamura has been the top man in every company he has been to in the world. New Japan, Ring of Honor, just to name a few. To the first ever two-time NXT champion. And right now, is in the form of his life. As everyone on their feet for Shinsuke, as Shinsuke is off of his. But let's get right into tonight's matchup. Here we are now. I'm playing as Roman Reigns. He's back up against Cesaro, but Reigns backing up as he's tagged in by Edge. But Edge is tagged in by Roman Reigns. Reigns the optimistic to start the matchup. Obviously Roman has does not want to be in the ring with Cesaro at all. As Reigns just pointed at Cesaro. Oh Cesaro. Keeps Edge upright with the uppercut, flooring him to the ground. Cesaro throws Edge into the corner where Shinsuke Nakamura is. And Shinsuke is into the match. Oh, and just chucking Edge into the corner. Shinsuke obviously has the backing of the fans, as does Edge. Raises Cesaro, not so much. Cesaro does not care for the fans, he's only there to concentrate on himself and his own wrestling. Shinsuke just consistently gave one of the biggest pops in all of wrestling. But Reigns now in the ring going to work on the King of Strong Style. Picks him up here. Throwing him into the corner. Reigns back to double team with Edge, but did not work. As Shinsuke throws Reigns into his corner. And Cesaro now finally the ring with Reigns and a snap there and a kick to the back. Edge trying to reach out to Rain to Cesaro there. Oh Cesaro with the arm of Reigns. Behind his back and Reigns with the elbow to Cesaro. For Zara into the corner as he ta Reigns tags in the rated R superstar and a double axe handle to the to Cesaro's arm and Reigns interfering here. Oh my god! Dropping Cesaro, hitting it behind the back. Cowardly moves there by Reigns, but he's getting he's doing what must be done to teach Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura some discipline before facing off against Team Smackdown which consists of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Cedric Alexander and Pete Dunne. Oh Edge reverses Cesaro and Edge chucking Cesaro into the corner and Reigns with the headbutt. Brilliant teamwork by Edge and Roman Reigns. Shit's going to reach out to Cesaro, but Edge stopping it. Cesaro reverses Edge. Lifts him up for the uppercut. What's Paul doing? Reigns looking at Paul. Wondering what the hell's going on. Cesaro with the gut red suplex to the rated R superstar. As Paul Heyman trying to distract Cesaro, but fails to do so. As Cesaro setting up for the new, for the sharpshooter, but cannot get it in on Edge. But Cesaro with the snap suplex. Oh, Edge still reach Reigns, but Cesaro stopping it. And Cesaro dragging Edge to the other side of the ring and tagging in Shinsuke. Nakamura. Now Shinsuke picks up Edge in the fireman's carry position. 
and drop it in for the Mishinoku driver. Oh, Edge with a shoulder tackle. Reigns pointing the tag into the match. Edge dragging Shinsuke into the corner. Oh, Shinsuke throws Edge into the other corner and a knee reversed by Edge. Edge going for a submission move to Shinsuke. Well, Shinsuke, Shinsuke gets out of it with ease. And Edge unable to tag Reigns so far away from the right from his corner. Shinsuke with submission move to the to the head of Edge. Picks up Edge. Oh Edge reverses Shinsuke. And a fly over DDT. Reigns wanting into the match here. Into the corner goes Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, double team failed by Shinsuke. Well, oh, failed by Edge and Shinsuke. Just dropping Edge in its own corner. Oh, about to feel some vibrations by Shinsuke and... Oh my God. To the face of Edge. Shinsuke again a bit arrogant here. You should never be like that when it comes to the rated R superstar. Finch this gets calling for a middle rope. Kinshasa to Edge. And he picks Edge up now. We kick to the gut. Throw him into the corner. And a oh, knee to the abdomen. Oh, Paul Heyman. Oh, Reigns as well distracting. Shinsuke Nakamura and Edge gets an advantage finally on Shinsuke. Oh, Edge just dragging his head across the rope. You can see Reigns' golden glove asking for a tag to, from Edge, but Edge not. Oh, Edge finally going for us. He's going for it. Gonna get Shinsuke for the spear put! Shinsuke reverses! Edge gets to Reigns! Reigns is in the ring! Ooh! Close line by Reigns! And another one by Reigns! Gets him again! And another one! Oh, Reigns, we're pushed to Shinsuke! Shinsuke reverses Reigns! On oh, the momentum leads to Reigns and it's a Kinshasa! By Shinsuke Nakamura, one kick out by Reigns. Cesaro feeding the height to Shinsuke Nakamura. And Shinsuke once again going for the Kinshasa, but Reigns reverses with a clothesline. And Reigns suppressing Shinsuke Nakamura's hot tag to Cesaro. And you see Reigns feeling it. Gonna go for the spear. To Shinsuke Nakamura. Dragging Shinsuke to the opposite side of the ring. And the cover. One. Two. But Cesaro still breaking up. Oh Cesaro dropped to a hole to Reigns. Edge. Take care of Cesaro with a slam. Oh. Reigns. Acknowledges the chair that Paul Heyman brings into the ring. It's going to go for a suplex, but Shinsuke reverses. And Reigns picks up Shinsuke for a power bomb. I think Reigns realizes what he has to do. Oh, trying to get Shinsuke into a power bomb position. Shinsuke with the single leg Boston Crab plays a rope break. Shinsuke dragging Roman into the center of the ring now. And going after the leg of Reigns. He picks up Roman. Oh, trying to go for a kick, but Reigns reverses with the clothesline. Reigns in the corner. Calling for it. The Superman punch. To Shinsuke Nakamura. And in the corner now. With the spear. To Shinsuke Nakamura. 
Reigns dragging Shinsuke to the opposite side of the ring again. And tags Edge into the ring. Edge with the cover. Reigns stopping the cover for some weird, weird reason. And Reigns with the cut. Oh my god! Edge trying to go for a spear, but Reigns was trying to go for a clothesline to Shinsuke. Oh, the referee's down. Reigns is down on the outside as well. This is all leading in the favour of Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. And Edge kicks out at two and three quarters. Edge with the spear to Cesaro. Cover. One. Two. Oh my god, Cesaro kicks out. Reigns not happy at all right now at Shinsuke Nakamura. As he gets Shinsuke up for a suplex from the outside of the ring. Reigns trying to stop Cesaro and he does. And a punch to Cesaro knocking him to the floor. The ref demanded Reigns get out of the ring as a wise. He'll be disqualified. Edge and Cesaro both lying on the floor here. It looks like Edge is the first one to stir to his feet. Will Edge get to Reigns in time? No, Edge not going to Reigns. As Edge just thrown to the corner by Cesaro. Cesaro with the uppercut. To Edge. Reigns pointing at Cesaro. Oh, Cesaro versus Edge's signature. Oh. Reigns too late to stop Cesaro there. Oh, Cesaro with the cover on Edge. Oh, kick to the back of Cesaro. And Reigns dropping him on his knee. Oh, Reigns taking out the referee. Shinsuke tags in, but did the ref see it? Would that count? Reigns with a belly to belly on Cesaro, on Shinsuke Nakamura. Edge just watching on as Reigns chucks Shinsuke to the outside. And Edge. And Reigns going to work on their compatriots as Reigns going after Shinsuke. And Shinsuke, oh, Shinsuke with a knee to the face and a, oh my god, dropping Roman. Oh, Reigns behind Shinsuke and a clothesline. As Reigns picks up Edge, chucking him back in the ring. Reigns picks up Shinsuke. Big boot missed by Shins by Reigns. Reigns again. Being dodged by Shinsuke. Oh, Reigns with the comeback here. On Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke though. But Reigns with the reversal. And going for his comeback. Reigns ducks under and gets the comeback on Shinsuke. But I'll scout the ring before he's disqualified. Edge of the fireman's carry. Dropping Shinsuke and Reigns. Putting his golden glove out there for a tag to Reigns. Well, for Edge. But well, Edge not going for the tag here right now. Oh, Edge trying to go for a signature, but Shinsuke reverses. Oh, Edge from behind, slamming Shinsuke on the floor. Reigns finally gets the tag on Shinsuke and Cesaro. He's in the ring. Oh, Reigns reverses Cesaro. This is not Reigns' ideal situation. Reigns just wringing the neck of Cesaro on the rope. Edge just looking at Cesaro in disgust. 
trade with the spear to the Swiss cyborg. The Roman with the cover, but rope break. Reigns dragging Cesaro closer, more further away from the ropes, and the cover, one, two, kick out by Cesaro. Reigns picks up the Swiss cyborg and into the corner. Going, trying to go through the door team, but Cesaro stops it, chucking Reigns into his corner, and an upcut dodged by Reigns. Oh, Reigns with the uppercut, Mr. Cesaro with the drop kick. Cesaro calling for the neutralizer. No, the sharpshooter. To Reigns. And Cesaro makes Reigns tap out. Cesaro taps out the tribal chief. So it looks like Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura are looking more favourable than Reigns and Edge on the Raw team going into Survivor Series. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all take care and I'll see you on the Go Home Show before Survivor Series. Peace.